Trevor's trailer is a safe house featured in Grand Theft Auto 5. From the outside, it can be seen that the trailer is longer towards the west side than the interior dimensions show. This is because of an extra compartment of the trailer beyond Trevor's bedroom, which would be accessible only from an exterior door further down from the main entrance. The purpose of this extra space is unknown as it is inaccessible to the player. The electrical sockets in the trailer are round UK main style instead of North American. Square light switches and separate hot and cold faucets are also UK style fixtures. The trailer is very untidy but goes through various stages of cleanliness Following Trevor's kidnapping of Patricia Madrazo, he, Patricia and Michael hide in the trailer, and Patricia spends her captivity tidying it up. By the time she leaves, the trailer is practically spotless but quickly reverts back to its untidy state. If Michael shoots or fires rockets at his trailer when he lives there, he'll still get a call or text by Trevor telling him to stop. If Franklin shoots even when Michael is living here, it will always be Trevor calling Franklin to stop. The Maze Bank Tower is a 96-story skyscraper in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto online. Maze Bank Tower is at an altitude of 1,050 feet, making it almost half the total height of Mount Kilian. On top of the building is a helipad. Roof access is present but only accessible during certain missions and fully usable in the enhanced version of GTA Online as an office. In Jock Cranley's campaign video, it is claimed that the tower was built prior to 1985. The Maze Bank Tower may be considered the HD Universe counterpart of the similar-looking unnamed Los Santos Tower from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The building appears to be based Based on the real-life U.S. Bank Tower in Los Angeles, the tallest building in the city until 2016 and the 81st tallest building in the world. It plays a major role in the enhanced version of GTA Online, where it serves as an office for organizations as part of the further adventures in finance and felony update. It is purchasable on the Dynasty 8 executive website for $4 million, and, as part of the import-export, can be expanded with an office garage. This is Michael's primary residence. The house was given to Michael after making an off-the-books deal with FIB agent Dave Norton in 2004. The house is built in the Spanish Renaissance style, a style that is very popular in Beverly Hills. The property contains a pool, hot tub, and tennis court, where Michael can play tennis against his wife. The interior is made up of three bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs, however, the bathroom across from Tracy's bedroom is inaccessible to the player. While inside the mansion, Michael will be unable to use weapons, except when wanted by the police. The house is said to be protected by a security system, though both Franklin and Trevor were able to get inside undetected in the mission's complications. In the mission Daddy's Little Girl, Tracy reveals that Michael's house was used to shoot a pornographic movie the previous year without Michael's knowledge. If the player chooses to kill Michael, a for sale signs owned by Windsor Real Estate will appear outside the house and Michael's family will not be present. In the GTA 5 beta version of Marriage Counseling, Michael mentions he paid $4.5 million for the house. Like the video for good luck. Even though there are signs outside Terminal 2 for San Fierro Air and signs outside Terminal 4 for Los Santos Air, these airlines are never seen advertised or seen on the airport tarmac. When flying over the airport, the air traffic controller will warn the player to leave the area but will sometimes warn the player that they will be shot down, even though this is a civilian area that is supposedly unarmed. This is due to reused voice files from the Fort Sancudo Air Control. If shooting the Shamals, Jets, and Luxors that are approaching the runway, they will instead change course and fly into the Pacific Ocean. In the mission Legal Trouble, planes land on different runways from the other direction, thrust from the engines cause police vehicles to flip, and there are planes parked in different places and ways. Sometimes a group of plane spotters looking with binoculars and taking pictures of landing aircraft can be found on the beach by the northwestern entrance of the airport. In the enhanced version, the airport fences securing the perimeter have been made completely indestructible. Fort Sancudo is a U.S. military facility joint operated by the Army, the Marine Corps, and the Air Force featured in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Inside the control tower, the computer screens show a map of the United States which slightly differs from the maps downstairs in the training center, especially on the west coast. The rest of North America is absolutely Absent. The design of the roundels, stars, painted on the hangars are similar to be that of the defunct United States Army Air Forces. This variation of the roundel was only used from 1941 to 1947, leaving the implication that the base has been active for roughly 70 years. Zancudo is Spanish for a malarial mosquito. Fort Zancudo closely resembles the real-life Vandenberg Air Force Base in Lompoc, California. Fort Zancudo is the only military base in Grand Theft Auto V and in the HD universe so far. It also includes a fire station inside the base. Fort Zancudo is located on the outskirts of the Lago Zancudo swamps and at the base of Mount Josiah in Blaine County, San Andreas.
Cayo Perico is a private island in the Caribbean off the coast of Colombia that appears in GTA Online is considered one of the most secure private islands in the entire world and the location of the world's most notorious drug dealer, Juan Strickler. It also contains an untold fortune in art, gold and drug money scattered across the island. The island first appeared in the El Rubio dossier teaser released during the Los Santos Summer Special Update which contained views of three locations on the island including a sprawling clifftop Spanish-style estate, a security tower and a farm. Various artifacts are around the island give hints to its history, including a cemetery near the airstrip, several collapsed obelisks, one of which forms the center point of a circular graveyard of 13 plots and relics from the Spanish Empire such as conquistador armor. Most of the island's flora are reused assets from Garma in Red Dead Redemption 2. While there are no native fauna seen on land, the wildlife is heard in abundance, including frogs, birds, and snakes. A black panther is kept in captivity in one Strickler's compound. A mutilated shark and a stranded whale can be seen. For each like this video gets, I will do a push-up. Sometimes an air ambulance can be seen flying around the prison. This is most likely a glitch as the air ambulance is actually a reskinned police maverick. Shooting a firearm anywhere near the prison will cause an automatic 3-star wanted level. If the player is near the penitentiary while being wanted, the prison alarm will go off and guards will be warned of the player's presence, causing them to attack. This can be remedied by using the cops turn blind eye feature from Lester as to safely gain access inside the prison for a limited time. Shooting a guard with a sniper rifle from the front or back will give the player a 2-star wanted level. If the player approaches from the back with 2 stars and goes up the prison's west side they will receive 4 stars, which is also received for punching the guard. Inside the recreation yard, there is writing on a wall that reads, where water meets land and fire once spewed forth, there the infinite eight shall stay until I return. The message is left by Merle Abrahams, who was obsessed with the number eight and had killed eight people in 1999. Mount Kilead is one of three named mountains in Blaine County, San Andreas in GTA 5. Located far to the north, in the Kilead Mountain State Wilderness, it serves as the tallest mountain in the game at 798 meters, 2,619 feet. At the east end of Raton Canyon, there's an observation platform overlooking the Alamo Sea and on that platform is a sign that shows you what you're looking at. The sign shows the elevation of Kilead at 2,744 meters, 9,002 feet. The wooden ramp looks like it might have been intended for a stunt jump. Completing the jump does not register as a stunt jump. The message come back when your story is complete is written on the back of the observation deck. Under the observation deck, there is a large red eye on the mountain itself. This is later revealed by the clues on the mountain to be related to the hidden UFO sighting. Upon reaching 100% game completion and standing on the observation deck, a UFO with FIB markings will appear overhead. Once the UFO appears, it will stay there as long as the player is on the mountain peak. Thanks for watching. Follow and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.